to ask you, mate, why are they uh, making Paul Major take off his socks? Um, actually, you're not allowed to wear socks or shoes. He was wearing karate shoes, as you see, but uh, the rules state that you can't wear them, so unfortunately a bit of a problem here, a little small formality, but we're about to go ahead with the fight right now. Good as gold, Stan. We'll come back and have a chat uh, more about what's coming up for you shortly after the instructions. Okay, we're ready to go for the main event of the evening, the Australian Professional Middleweight Kickboxing Championship at the 74 kilogram limit over seven two-minute rounds in the red corner, Paul the Rock Major against Nick Lightning Lund in the blue corner. I've had, the, as I said earlier, I've had the pleasure of boxing many rounds with Paul uh, in the conventional boxing style. And uh, fortunately, I've, fortunately, I've never had him kick me. But um, he's adapted the kickboxing style very, very easily. Uh, Stan, you've seen uh, Paul fight on a few occasions. Yes, I have. Uh, Paul's really improved a lot with his kicks, as you can see. But uh, he's really known for his good hands and uh, great combinations. As you see, he's putting them together very well here. Thank you, Stan. Yes, he's... Uh, this Nick Lund looks uh, quite composed at the moment, though. Paul walks up with his hands held high, feeling with the, the left kick to the midsection. And a beautiful jab to the midsection there by Paul, the rock major. Leads with the jab again, waiting for an opening. Oh, beautiful left hook to the body by, by the rock there. Nick Lund cert certainly would have felt that left hook the body, Stan. There's no doubt about it. I think uh, Nick's going to have a lot of problems if he doesn't keep him at bay with his kicks. It's very important to keep him away because if, uh, if uh, Paul Majors does bridge that gap, he's really going to hurt his body. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Once uh, Paul's up there on top, he certainly means business. At the moment, he's just sort of evading uh, Nick's kicks and then comes in with good lefts and right. The body shots, the body shots will tell. Paul's body shots will tell on Nick Lundy before too long I would think I really think he might have knocked the stuffing out of him a little bit already in this first round Stan yeah, I think Nick looks like he's winded he's uh, got a few problems with him but uh, if I was him I'd move around and just try to see at the bell that's all yeah he, ca he can't he definitely can't stay in there in close and uh, swap body punch with an experienced pro like Paul Major and the bell to end round one a very very convincing round by Paul Major Stan the man Longanides on my right hand side 21 fights uh, sorry 21 wins one loss 16 knockouts a very impressive record Stan and your fight for the world title on December the 1st at the casino how do you feel about that mate I'm really looking forward to that, Barry. Um, my last fight, I suffered a, a, a one-point defeat by Maury Smith, a renowned world champion for eight and a half years. Um, this is a fight that I really need to do well. Um, Lawrence White from England he's a, has a record of 25-2 and two with 19 knockouts. Both those defeats did go the distance with the guy that I just lost to, so I think it'll be very important for me to go out there and do very well to bring me up a little bit spiritually, I think. Great stuff, mate. Well, we, you know, we'll all be in your corner that night, and I, I hope to be commentating on the show at Jupiter. It's my hometown, as we aw await the bell for round two. Let's do it, Rob. Round two. Oh, nice right drive to the body by Paul Major. Buckled Nick Lundy right over. <laughs> The body punches are telling. Oh, it's, he's in trouble. The ref referee applies a standing eight count. Nick Lundy in all sorts of trouble. 
think he'd be lucky to see this round out, Stan. What do you think? Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, he's really got to start throwing some kicks, kicks and keeping um, Paul Majors at bay. Keep him away with those kicks. Like I said earlier, if he comes in close, he's going to do damage. He puts together those combinations very, very well. At this stage, um, Paul knows that he's hurting him with the body shots, and that's where he's just concentrating his attack to the sides and midsection of Nick Lightning Lund. At the moment, not so lightning. <laughs> Vicious left hook to the midsection by Paul Major. Throws a kick there, throws a couple of kicks, but he's still concentrating on those body shots. Stan? I think, Barry, uh, we've got to give credit to Nick Lung because uh, Paul is really a good finisher and he's hanging in there doing his best, showing a lot of courage. Certainly is. He's taking a lot of vicious body blows, trying to cover up under the onslaught, but Paul continues to hammer away with both hands, occasionally steps back for a kick, but it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before Paul the Rock Major defends his middleweight title successfully. Looks here. Oh, beautiful punches. The referee could pull this up. No, it's nearly all over. As Nick Lundy's mouth guard is out, the referee applies a standing eight count. As Nick Lightning Lund reaches down and picks up his mouth guard, showing a lot of guts, but God, he's in trouble, Stan. He's in definitely a lot of trouble. I mean, Paul's really going to jump on him here, try to finish him if he can. Nick's got to move around, really move around. The bell, I was just going to say, the bell must be ready to go, and there it is. Nick Lundy survives the second round, a very, very torrid second round, and the champion in devastating form on his way to a victory. <laughs> One more. The bell for round three. Nick Lund in a lot of trouble in the second round there. <coughs> Paul Major just concentrating on those vicious body blows for the midsection of Nick Lund. Nick is trying to do now what Stan suggested, get him away with the kicks, but uh, I think it's going to be a fruitless effort because Paul just, you know, will, will, will abide his time as there, counter, and once he's up, he's very hard to get away. As I said before, I've had a lot of uh, sparred a lot of rounds with Paul and he is a very, very classy boxer um, and a lovely guy with it. He's one of my very, very dear mates. And uh, I must say I'm very, very glad to be flown down here. Oh, Nick in a lot of trouble. He's showing a lot of grit, this guy. He stepped in as a late substitute, so you've got to give him, give him credit. He's got a very outstanding record, but uh, he hasn't got the experience of Paul the Rock Major. And it's certainly showing tonight. When you take um, continual blows to the body like that, uh, the result is quite often that you pass blood afterwards. And I think, Stan, there's a possibility that, that might happen here if he continues to take too much more of this. Yeah, no doubt about it. Nick's taken a lot of good shots into the body. I think he's got to really drop his arm, his elbows a little bit and try to catch some of those blows if he can because he's, he's got his arms up so high that the body's open and he should realise that by now. His corner should be telling him and he should be picking up those mistakes. Certainly, Stan. He's, he's weakening now and his body's covered with red welts. <coughs> you can only take those sort of body shots for, for a certain amount of time before, you know, something happens. <coughs> and as I said, you know, like... On two occasions after fights, I passed blood. Once was with Lester Ellis and once was with my last fight with Rocky Lockridge. Has it ever happened to you, Stan, after a fight? No, I've been very fortunate, not yet, but I know that uh, if I take good shots, it's, it's bound to happen, so I'm very fortunate so far, Barry. Well, mate, I hope it never happens to you, because it's a bit of a shock. Oh, the bell to end the round. Another very, very torrid round. This, this kid, Nick Lightning Lund, God, he's got some guts. Paul, very fit, not breathing heavily ha at all in the corner of at the end of that round after, you know, punching non-stop 
through every round so far. And I also must give give credit to, to <coughs> excuse me, Nick uh, Lund's condition because, <coughs> you know, you've got to be in good condition to take those sort of blows, Sam. What do you think? There's no doubt about it. I think Paul surprised himself. I mean, he's probably giving a lot of credit to Nick in deep inside himself and uh, he's thinking, geez, this guy won't go down that easy. But, you know, Paul's a, a seasoned fighter. He's experienced and he paces himself well. He knows how to pick his shots. He won't throw anything unnecessary. He'll pick them well and... If he keeps going the way he's going, I think he's bound to uh, to stop Nick. But, I mean, full credit to Nick. He's moving around well. He's doing what he's got to do to survive. And that's all he probably wants, to survive. You know what I mean? Couldn't agree more. <clears throat> I think what Paul's plan will probably be is to get the hands to drop, you know, work the body, get uh, Nick to drop the hands and come over with the finishes over the top. Here we are, the bell to, end, to start uh, round four. Paul straight back into the body. Red welts all over Nick Lund's body. He's going to be a sick and sorry boy tomorrow, that's for sure. That's it. It's just about over. I think the referee's going to pull it up. He's had enough. That's enough. I don't think he's looking too interested in going on. Sam, if you were the referee, what do you think, mate? I, I, I can't see much point in letting this go on much longer. I, I agree. I, I think even the, ref, uh, the doctor should come up and uh, maybe pull it himself. He's going to put another standing eight count. I quite often think this standing eight count rule is, is bad because it just prolongs a boxer's agony. Yeah, I agree. I think it's really the referee's discretion. He should really pull up the fight. I mean, Nick Lung's in a lot of pain at the moment. He could have some major, some major problems after the fight. Couldn't agree more. That's it. The fight's over. And look at this. this. This is ridiculous. Where do these guys get their referee's licenses from? You know, this referee should stop this fight. You know, this is crazy. I cannot believe this. This is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This fight's over. Long over. Stop the fight. This guy's got too much guts for his own good. Oh, look, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. That's it. Stop the fight. And took great victory to Paul Major. Absolutely sensational form. But uh, I must say, the referee let that kid take some unnecessary punishment. But I'll tell you what, Paul Major looked sensational there. Continually applied the, applied the pressure to the body. Non-stop punching and, and a few kicks thrown in, but mainly non-stop barrage to the body. You've got to give that guy credit, that Nick Lund. <coughs> He's certainly got some guts. Stan, you've got a few words to say? Yeah, Barry, I just want to say that uh, I think uh, Nick really showed a lot of courage and really hung in there, but I think towards the end there, he was probably hoping himself the referee would stop it earlier. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. And I mean, you know, the referee asked him if he wanted to stop and he said no, which, you know, like, that just show, <coughs> shows how much gut the guy's got. But uh, he was in a lot of trouble. He'll be in a lot of pain after the body, the body punishment he's received.